You say, she's from the teachers union. She's a teacher. Where's the education pieces here? Where's the education pieces here? Climate change. <laughs> if we actually stop these extreme weather events, look at what's happening in Kentucky right now. Look at what's happening in California right now. We then give a future to our kids. We don't have magic wands. We have these amazing senators and activists who fight like you know what to get to the things to solve the issues that keep people up at night. This is a bill that's going to solve the issues that keep people up at night. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was so awkward. All the yelling. We're, we're joining me now, my friend Kira Davis, running for school board in Orange County and also editor at large Red State, and Lenny McAllister, senior fellow at the Commonwealth Foundation. Lenny, I'm going to start with you. The volume changes just never come off like these people think they come off. It's so awkward. Yeah, it's, it's, it's called, I'm going to inspire you by being as loud as I possibly can. And if you're not buying into it, I'll just get louder. That'll certainly fire you up. And, and when you're trying to sell a bill of goods, no pun intended, that you know is not related to what you're supposed to be there to do in the first place, all you can do is try to appeal to emotionalism. And what the pandemic has shown us is emotionalism has been running amok in what we've done in education for 30 40, 50 years, and parents are, are done with the emotionalism. They want to see results for their kids. They want to see their kids catch up in education. They want to see their kids get good jobs as a result of going to these schools. And it doesn't matter how much people yell. If you can't provide those results, parents are looking for other options in education. And there's a reason why the school choice movement has been this tidal wave over the last several years. And unfortunately, there are leaders on the other side that are simply still tone deaf to that reality. Speaking of the school choice movement, that, thank you, Lenny, for that setup. That was a beautiful set. Allow me to swing away at that. Kira Davis, our friend, running for school board in California. Kira, that's so weird because Randy Weingarten is the head of the teachers' union, but she's talking about climate change and she's stumping for an Inflation Act bill. It's almost, it's almost like she's a political activist. Almost, isn't it? Isn't it so weird how that works out? But you know what, Jesse? That's it's just reflective of what's going on in our public school system period i mean this is why i'm running for office this is why so many parents like me are running for our school board because we see that the school boards are doing everything and the public schools are doing everything but educating right we're we're talking about gender theory gender identity we're having pride weeks and months dedicated to anti-bullying and we have we have weeks and months dedicated to kids trying to figure out what their sex sexuality is or or where they want to protest for Black Lives Matter. We're doing everything but teaching our kids how to read and write. And that's why the United States is one of the uh, poorest developing countries when it comes to education among developed countries. So, you know, I think watching Randy Weingarten do that is just it makes it a lot clearer about what's going on in our public schools, right? It's like a top-down issue. That's where it's starting at the top, and we're experiencing the results of that at the bottom. And the results of our, we're graduating people across the board, generally speaking, um, about 50% of our students aren't prepared for higher learning when they leave high school in the United States, which is atrocious. Don't miss Jesse Kelly Breaks History, Che Guevara, the latest episode of a new series available now exclusively for First TV supporters. Visit the First TV app or thefirsttv.com to subscribe and start watching today.